It was just the most awesome experience, and I was just there to serve. Listen, there's something about serving. When you serve, I'm telling you, that's when doors open. People who are selfish and don't serve and just waiting on theirs to come, uh-uh, get out there and help somebody. That's right. And that's when the Lord opens doors, and I'm telling you, he opened the door for us, and it just, it's, it has truly blown us away, what he has done because of that connection, and he uses people to perform his, his, right. his plan yeah. on the earth, right? Mm -hmm. And he used her to create in us a greater level of faith and confirmation of what the Holy Spirit had already been telling us. Mm -hmm. It was just confirmation. Yeah, what? This mm -hmm. woman all the way from Hartford, Alabama, speaking into us what we thought sounded crazy from the Holy Spirit. And we're like, okay, we all this, but we both hear the same thing. And then she says it. Oh, let me tell you, those kind of keep your connection. You don't dismiss those. That's right. That's right. the Holy Ghost. That ain't nothing but. That's right. Right? right. So, anyhow, this is a, my friend, our friend, your friend. Ask the pan, but she, we ain't gonna have her up here yet. We're gonna hold y'all up. I just want you to get your tongue hanging out with it. Yeah, just push it up. Because <laughs> so we got some things we want you to have fun because we, we this is our launch of our Made for More women's group, and we really just want you guys to know who we are, know we're here, and moving forward. This is my husband, y'all. Woo!
birthday that is closest to today, April 24th? Anybody? No April. No May. No, no May. No May. No March. May 10th. My birthday's May 10th. May 10th. Okay. Anybody closer within? March. March. Anybody in March?
thank you to the couple people of Isaiah and our fearless fire worship team. So anyway, without further ado, please stand up and put your hands together for our wonderful. so undescribably well. Yes. Y'all hear me? Yes. And I want you to know that even as you're standing where you're standing, your life is changing right now. Yes. Your life is changing right now. Yes. Let me tell you some praise and worship team. I almost lost my standing. <laughs> Listen to me. Don't underestimate the saturation that's pouring in this room right now. Yes, God. Amen. Amen. It's not by accident that this is the launch of yeah. Made for More. That's right. That's right. Because the Lord said, even at this moment, you're entering into a new door. Amen. Ooh, God is truly moving in your life. Right. There is supernatural healing that God is leading you to. Yes. There's supernatural healing that God is absolutely pouring in your life. Yes. And the Lord said that even in this stage in your life, you're going to have what you never had, even in your young I feel God. God is taking you to a place you've never been. And I'm going to get that you've got to do what you've never done. So you can't trust yourself. You have to trust God. Because if you trust yourself, the things that's going to make you will be the things that will kill you. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, my life is changing. My life is changing. I'm going to walk and keep myself behaving. <laughs> Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you. We glorify you. We magnify your name. We ask now, God, that you will move God in ways that only you can move. That, Lord, you would move every single thing out of the way that would hinder your people. Yes. from receiving whatever it is, God, that you desire in their lives. We say thank you now. We glorify you. We magnify your holy name and we lift your name on high. You see your name, Jesus, that we pray. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Clap your hands on your prayer. Somebody just open up their mouth and shout hallelujah. Somebody open their mouth and shout praise the Lord. There's something that happens when you're hungry and when you're thirsty. I need you to get something to write on, even if that's the notes in your phone. There's going to be some nuggets that I'm going to drop this morning that's absolutely going to be life transforming for you. Amen? Amen. Let me tell you. Let me, let, me, let me tell you. There was a place in God where God is taking you. There's a place in God where God is taking you. And the Lord said, you're going to have to leave that old place. And that old place even involves your mindset. That old place that even involves even your lifestyle. And I don't know anything about your lifestyle and the way you live. No matter how good it looks, you won't have to leave it. Come on. Do you understand? You have outgrown that place. It is outgrown. Do you understand? It is outgrown. You have outgrown it. You have outgrown it. You have outgrown it. You have outgrown it. No. 
know now you've got to have a desire to want more. Yes. Amen. 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 All right. As a scripture reference that the Lord gave me, I'm going to give you the scripture. And that scripture is St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. And I'm going to be reading King James Version. St. Matthew chapter 5, verse number 6. Somebody shout, give me more. Give me more. more. I see you now. I see you now. Amen. 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 And it reads, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Amen. Amen. Regardless of what may, what you may see in the rearview mirror, regardless of what it may look like, even when you look in the mirror, you have been created for more. There is more in you. Regardless of how good you think you know yourself, regardless of how good your BFF may know you, regardless of how long you've been doing what you're doing, you have been created for more. You've been created for more. That means it doesn't matter how many times you have fallen down and you dropped in the mud and you made some choices and you knew they were wrong and you still went and did it anyway. I want you to know you're made for more than that. You were made for more regardless of what they called you, regardless of what it looked like, regardless of how that thing might have failed, regardless of how much you tried to make sure it was going to work out and it didn't. You were made for more. You're made for more. And that is not I say it is not. It is not. So y'all gotta get mad. Because it's one thing about when a woman gets mad. Right. Everything in the house, even the dust stops falling. <laughs> Whenever you get mad, every single thing is at attention and is paying attention. Mm -hmm. Things are slumped over all of a sudden and standing straight up. Mm -hmm. And there was authority that comes forth even in your voice. There was authority that comes forth even in your silence. Mm -hmm. There was authority that comes forth even in your posture. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Because it's at that place. Somebody say that place. That place. Somebody say that place. That place. I'm looking for some thirsty and hungry women. Yes, God. Not looking for those that are looking for what they had. Mm -hmm. And just a little bit of something new. Mm -hmm. Come on. Because you can wear an old pair of pants and some new shoes and somebody think you have on a whole new outfit. But I'm talking about folk that truly want what God is saying. God said, you're not going to die. You. He said, you're going to live. Hallelujah. There was new life that God is working inside of you. God said, even though you, there are people that know you and don't even know it all for real. But God said this. He said, I know the whole story. I know the whole story. Mm -hmm. I hope you're coming back tonight. Mm -hmm. You coming back tonight? I'm gonna need you here. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm telling you? Mm -hmm. Huh? I need you here. Yeah. <coughs> Somebody back them to them and say, I want more. I want more. Somebody say, I want more. I want more. Somebody say, I want more. I want more. Yes. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yes, yes. Because see, my assignment is to usher you to that place. My assignment is not to let you settle from where you have been. Amen. But it's to absolutely push you and pull you out of that place to this place. Yes. And it's going to take a release in you that you never released in a public way. It's going to take a release in you that you never even released in a platform, in a place like this. Y'all know when you get home and you just really wanted to scream and you wait until you got in your car and you didn't even do it in the parking lot because you really didn't want them to see your face to really tear up and look that ugly. <laughs> huh? Somebody say, y'all made for more. I made for more. Hunger comes with a sight. Yes. Hunger comes with a sound that ordinary doesn't understand. Right. Traditional doesn't understand. It. Right. Our intellect cannot interpret it. Yes. But it comes with a sound that can only relate to the, the 
things of God. Somebody say I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Somebody say I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. And let me tell you how you know you've reached that place that God desires. Now remember, as women, we're able to birth. We're able to not only conceive in me and our two, but we're able to carry it. We're able to carry it. And not only do we carry it here, but as women, we carry it here. And not only do we carry it here, but we carry that thing up here. So even when we go to bed, it's in the bed with us. Yes. And they over there. Yes. Like, how in the world can you sleep? Are you kicking it? And you come fooling him? And you Bruce Lee and him while he's in the bed? And he still won't wake up. You're going to get out of water and pour it on him. And he still won't come. And he wakes up the next day, oh, such a good night, she be on the other night. I should really doubt you out <laughs> Somebody say, I'm made for more. I'm made for more. Say, I'm made for more. I'm made for more. Say, I'm made for more. I'm made for more. Let me tell you why that's so important. There was a place in God you've got to allow yourself to tap into. And you've got to tap into it till you feel it. So I, this, this, this has to tap into what it is until it feels it. And regardless of who comes in the room, it feels what it is. And it's going to shine like what it is no matter what a piece. Somebody can say, that's ugly. This is not going to change this. Because it already has accepted who it is and what it is. And it's going to be what it is regardless of how many people don't like it. That's right. So there's a place in you that not everybody will like. Somebody shout, that's a nugget. That's a nugget. Somebody shout, that's a nugget. And when you tap into your well, because all of us have a well of greatness in us. Right. When that bad happened, you got some greatness in you. And there was a level that God is taking you to that ain't going to make sense. It's going to look like it doesn't match where you are right now. But as you allow God to journey you and pick you up, literally put you in a hot air balloon and take you to that place, it's going to blow your mind. There's going to be places, there's going to be times in your life you're not even going to be able to sit down in your seats. There are books that you have to write. Do you understand what I'm telling you? There are books you, you absolutely have the ability to teach even the young with the passion that they have to go forth and do what God has called them to do. But you cannot settle and just do it like everybody else is doing. Because you will miss your Somebody say, I'm not missing it this time. I'm not missing it this time. Come on, shout, I'm not missing it this time. I'm not missing it this time. You have to allow yourself to tap into what God has made you do. Yes. Because if you don't tap into it, you won't do it. You won't have the passion to do it. So when the hell comes, without passion, you sit down. Tell the truth in this room. Yes. It's okay. That doesn't mean you ain't saying. Tell the truth. Yes. Because if you don't tell the truth, there's no way you deal with it. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. What is the thing that has caused what God has created and made you to do? To die. Huh? You're going to help so many people. You have, I, the way I look at you, it's like miracle growth. Yes. Yeah. A flower. Yes, you I was gone from home a couple days. Went to Lowe's. Y'all have Lowe's here? Yes, we yes. do. Oh, honey, I don't have a green thumb, I promise you. These, these flowers were so pretty, I had to have them. I had to, like, talk myself out of putting all of them in my buggy. And I put some in my buggy, and I had to put some on back. I'm like, no, this is really crazy. I can't do that. So it was, I don't know what they're called, but they bloom all the time. <laughs> Beautiful. So I bought it, put it in my car, forgot it in the car a couple days. It still survived though. Put it in on my porch, got a flower stand. A couple days went by when I got home. I, as soon as I pulled in the driveway, I said, my flowers are dying. And it broke my heart. I took it in the house. Didn't think, water it, water it, no. Took it in the house, I'm thinking, oh, she did. I said, she's just cold. 
took her in the house, put her, took her in the garage, and was like, no, that may be too cold, the floor. So let me put her in the dining room. And I looked at her the next day, and she was still just slumped over, like they were turned over like this. And I said, Lord, I want my flowers to live. Give her some water. I gave her some water. I mean, just saturated in water. A couple of hours went back, she's standing straight up, just happy. Mm -hmm. You have the ability to pour nutrients in pots. You are such a helper. And not only do you help, but I hear the Lord say you fertilize the soil. Yes, indeed. And I want you to know this, God is increasing your oil. Mm -hmm. He is enriching what he's given you. Yes. God has given you even the more. And he said, the more I give and the more you give, the more you will have. Yeah. I want you to know that your vessel will never run empty. It will never run dry. You're going to walk into a season in the next 17 days of your life. Oh, God. I started walking so that I would behave myself. And the enemy is going to come at you. The enemy is going to come at you. But God said, know who you are and stand your ground. Yes. The whole bark is yours. They bloom at your hand. They bloom at your hand. So when you see the weeds, when you see the poison as it comes in, the Lord said, I've already given you what you need in order to get rid of it. Somebody said, give me more. Give me more. Somebody shall give me more. Give me more. Somebody shall give me more. Give me more. Those that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Not might be. Not can be. But they shall be. And the word of God is going to go forth and it's going to do exactly what it was sent to do. It will not return more. So what you're hungry for, you're going to receive it if you're willing to receive it the way God wants to give it to you. Hallelujah. It is absolutely going to mean that you have to move from where you are and let God position you where that next place in him lives. Amen? Amen. Amen. Somebody say, I want more. I want more. Somebody shout, I want more. I want more. Let me tell you something. Some of you have to be get right now will be an uncomfortable. Because every time you meet for made for me, there's going to be a level of increase that's coming. There's going to be dimensions of increase that's coming. And if you're not already ready to accept however God wants to give it to you, if you're not already ready to accept how God not only wants to give it to you, but you want to accept what God wants to give you, you're going to miss some important elements that's required in your growth. Yes, yes. Everybody over this room, stand up. And some of you, even right there, you're like, why? Well, even though you may. Sure, Pastor Pam. <laughs> but then inside, you're like, why? My legs are hurting. I want to stay in my seat. I don't want to get up. But why? How long are you going to question God? Huh? How long are you going to just assemble but leave barren? Yes, yes. Even though your wound is there, to actually hold the purpose of God in your life. My God. Somebody say, I'm made for more. I'm made for more. It doesn't matter your race. It doesn't matter your social status. It doesn't matter the opinion of other people. You are made for more. But if you never allow yourself to tap into the more, the more will never live through you. You will be an observer that will look at other people You live your life 
stuff. You live your life up one minute and down the next. Depending on what you have. Depending on what you go through. Somebody say, I want more. I want more. So as you're standing, write this down. I've got to make choices. And you've got to understand something. You've got to be able to adjust with God. Yes, it's more comfortable for you to sit down and write. Learn how to stand up and take the notes. <laughs> you have to understand the significance of that. Because what we're used to doing and how we're used to doing it, as God is moving us, we have to adjust to what's uncomfortable to us, but yet still get what God wants us to have. Amen. Uh, so you have to see the value of your obedience. Because if there is no value in your obedience, you will say, well, I ain't going to do it today. That's right. I don't feel like it. Amen. Amen. I can just do this right here and not really do all of that over there. Your blessing comes in your obedience. Somebody ought to shout, that's a nugget. Let me help y'all with these nugget things. Nugget means amen. But it causes you because this is different. The word nugget causes you to put it in a different place because you can't treat it. The same church has told us to treat an amen like an amen. Because you can say amen and leave me and cuss somebody out. <laughs> you can say amen and quote a scripture, but in your heart you cuss them like a sailor. That don't sound churchy, does it? But it's showing up the foot and naked truth. Right. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> Now, in your standing, what are you choosing to allow yourself to feel? Because you're made for more. You're made for more. There's more in you. There's more in you. There's more in you. There's more in every single woman in this room. There is more. There's more. So as you're standing, let me tell you something. You choose to do what you deem comfortable. You choose to accept what's comfortable. Amen? Amen. So what do you do when God says, I need you to change from where you are. And I want you to move. Yes, God. But God, this feels good. I've always been here. What do you mean? I don't want to do that. Let Pastor Angie do it. Let Brother Frog do it. Let Kermit and Miss Peeny do it. They look better than me. Why do I have to do it? So you talk yourself out of the very blessings that God has laid in your life before you were healed. Yeah. Because you've always done it that way. Oh my God. So if you're made for more, does that mean, God, I'm only going to do more at certain seasons in my life? The devil is a lie. Yeah. Your more occurs on every level. Yeah. So you're going to think higher than where you are. Somebody say that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. You're going to think higher than where you are. Your mind is going to go beyond what your wallet will allow. Somebody say that's enough. That's enough. Some of you are multi-millionaires in this room, but you're living below the low income level because you will not move into the greatness. You're struggling all because of your choices and because they look like that's what you should have done. Yeah. And they sound like, oh, it was just right. Because they came and had us on the back. Mm, come on. Yeah, God. Such a great job you're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if that place is expired for you, why are you still standing? Yes. I say, I want more. I want more. more. Now, I want you to evaluate yourself because this is personal. Right there when you say, I want more. Did you feel anything any different? Be honest. 
Because the different is coming, your posture should be different. If different is here, then that means you made some choices and you changed your posture. And that means there should be an outward sign of what you've chosen. Not what they say. Yeah, God. Believe it or not. Glory. What they say. That right there, see? Yeah. See? And we have to be comfortable. Somebody say, I've got to be comfortable. I've got to be comfortable. Being uncomfortable. Being uncomfortable. Being uncomfortable. That's so good. Mm. We, let me tell you, when somebody says you're ugly, you'll never do anything. You're going to be just like them. We not only house that here and allow it to grow, but it lives here. Yeah. And it lives here. Yeah. And it lives in our actions. We go to a room and we sit in the back. I'm not saying those in the back, dude. We go to the back of the room. And when somebody wants us to do something, we know we have the ability. No, 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 no. I don't want to do it. Yeah. It comes through. Yeah. In the actions, in the terms, yes. in what you accept, and what you do. So you divide yourself down like an atom mm -hmm. instead of allowing yourself to bloom and blossom. Mm -hmm. So if you're seeing it but you're not feeling it, yeah. you're not in the right place. That's right. Absolutely. That means you've got to pour out mm -hmm. more. I may irritate my neighbor. <laughs> you may tell, turn around and give me an eye. And I'm going to give you the who out, who out of the plastic surgery look. Yes. Yes. Out of my face. Amen. Because I'm going after something. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, God. And going after something with hunger will get a pregnant woman up, Shay, at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Thank you. When everybody else is in the bed. And even though dangers are lurking outside, I'm going to be okay. Because yeah. I'm carrying something you don't know anything about.
to the balloon. I preach to the party. Because I ain't come looking for an amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it's only one person in the room that will obey God and allow God to do inside of them exactly what God is to do. So that means whatever you feel, you to give yourself permission to feel. that I'm not going to be 
be positioned where I've always been positioned regardless of what I'm getting and I know a lot of people want it but there is more for me. I know they said that my wound is closed and I know they said that I will never give birth to anything. I know, I know nobody else in my family has ever done anything this great. I know they're going to look at me like I lost my mind because when I start moving like God told me to move then I'm going to understand it. I want more. I want more. I want more, God. The Bible says that Hannah was pouring herself out, but only like, God can hear it. Because her mouth went more But her posture changed. You don't have to move like everybody else is moving. You don't have to pour it out in the way everybody else is pouring it out. But I'm speaking to the hammers in this room. The Bible says man looks on the outward appearance, but God yet looks on the heart. I'm speaking to every hammer in this room that's willing to pour. I declare God is dope. If you allow yourself to be poured of God, God is going to blow your mind. You hear me? And God shows me where he's going to push you forward really quickly in an accelerated way. Somebody shout, I'm made for more. I'm made for more. Somebody shout, I'm made for more. I'm made for more. Somebody shout, I'm made for more. I'm made more. Listen to me, baby. You have the ability to touch a thing and that whole thing change. The Lord shows me where your anointing, your oil that you carry, people stereotype you real quick that don't know you. God shows me an old building. Do <clears throat> you know what a plank house is? You know? It's a house that's made out of planks. Old, 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 like really old houses, you know what I'm talking about? The Lord shows me that and it's white and it's run down and beat down and some of the white has been weathered and beaten so bad that it's like a grayish color. But then the Lord shows me where you drive by. God said, don't you underestimate where I'm taking you. You're gonna travel down some roads that's gonna look like you're lost and in the wrong place. But God is leading you to the place that he has given you the oil to restore. I mean, even when you go in Walmart, huh. stores like Walmart, I want to pray for you. Can I pray for you? Yes. Come. The choices that God has given depends on you. Two, three. Three. It depends on you. It depends on what you're willing to do. God has chosen you, David. God has chosen you, Hannah. But you have to be willing prayer warrior. You have to be a prayer warrior. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. You carry an anointing from generations of your family. Yes. There are miracles that follow your prayers. I want you to know that the Lord is going to lead you to pray. I see young adults in your family that you're connected to. The Lord is going to lead you in this space. It's going to seem like a space of fog where God is going to allow you to begin praying for them. And then the praying for them, God is going to pull them out of the belly of the well. The Lord shows me where he says, because of your willingness to stand on the wall, my God, 
I said, I shall do it in all of them. There is not a one. I don't care what they're doing. I don't care how they're acting. You understand? I want you to know your tears of pain. God is going to change that. And you're absolutely What he said he's going to do. Yes. There's some things you even forgot about. God said, I ain't forgot about. Because mm -hmm. it seemed like as long as it's been, mm -hmm. God, surely it ain't going to happen now. God said, oh, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. Amen. I'm going to lay hands on you. Mm -hmm. Jesus, help me and heal. And I want you to understand, God said there's a fresh fire coming in your life. There's a fresh fire that I'm bringing in your life. There's fresh fire I'm bringing in your life. There's fresh fire that I'm bringing in your life. Yes, God. I feel that. The fire of God. The fire. Ah, Ah, Strength, say it, Strength, even in your body. Hey! Hey! Doing it. 
Because you will miss your place. Somebody say, I'm not missing it this time. I'm not missing it this time. Somebody shout, I'm not missing it this time. I'm not missing it this time. So many people. You have, I, the way I look at you, it's like miracle grow. Yes. A flower. I was gone from home a couple days. Went to Lowe's. Y'all have Lowe's here? Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, I don't have a green thumb, I promise you. These, these flowers were so pretty, I had to have them. I had to like talk myself out of putting all of them in my book. And I put some in my book and I had to put some on back. I'm like, no, this is really great. I can't do that. So it was, I don't know what they're called, but they bloom all the time. Beautiful. So I bought it, put it in my car, forgot it in the car a couple days. It still survived though. Put it in on my porch, got the flower stand. A couple days went by when I got home. I, as soon as I pulled in the driveway, I said, my flowers are dying. And it broke my heart. I took it in the house. Didn't think water it, water it, no. Took it in the house, I'm thinking, oh, she did. I said, she's just cold. Took her in the house, put her, took her to the garage. I was like, no, that may be too cold, the floor. So let me put her in the dining room. And I looked at her the next day, and she was still just slumped over, like they were turned over like this. And I said, Lord, I want my flowers to live. Give her some water. I gave her some water. I mean, just saturated in water. A couple of hours went back. She stayed straight up, just happy. You have the ability to pour nutrients in pots. You are such a helper. And not only do you help, but I hear the Lord say, you fertilize the soil. And I want you to know this, God is increasing your oil. He is enriching what he's given you. God has given you even the more. And he said, the more I give and the more you give, the more you will have. I want you to know that your vessel will never run empty. It will never run dry. You're going to walk into a season in the next 17 days of your life. Oh, God. See, I started walking so that I would behave myself. And the enemy is going to come at you. The enemy is going to come at you. But God said, know who you are and stand your ground. Yeah. The whole bark is yours. They bloom at your hand. They bloom at your hand. So when you see the weeds, when you see the poison as it comes in, the Lord said, I've already given you what you need in order to get rid of. But leave barren. Yes, yes. Even though your wound is there, to actually hold the purpose of God in your life. Somebody say, I'm made for more. I'm made for more. That means it doesn't matter your age.
God, you got to help me today. And I pray for you. Lord, get to the front. Where was that lady? I need you to the front, baby. I want every Hannah in this room to understand that God has ordained greatness in you, through you. You are a weed clipper. Let me tell you what that is. That's a person that walks through places that other folks don't even see. And you're able to see the very things that potentially will choke out and kill what God has planted in you. God has given you a stern discernment inside of you. And, 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 the Lord said that you've had this since you were her. That even when you see, you see what other folk can't see. God is going to use that. Let me tell you something. There's an elevated place in God, and I declare unto you that if you will allow yourself to step out of, and the Lord shows me a shape, I see it. And that shape will put you in. It's, it's, I'm just telling you what the Lord no kind of shape I got you. The way that I see it is an egg, and there's a nest, and it's comfortable, and it's warm, and it looks real good. But God said, I'm hatching that egg. That shell, he said, because I'm exposing you. There was so much more in you. Yes, it is. There was so much more in you. There was so much more in you. But you have to make the choice. To allow it to be broken. Mm. The Bible says that Hannah went like she always went. Jesus. <laughs> ah. Mm. Ah. Mm. Hannah went like she always went. And the Bible says that Hannah didn't even want to eat. Her husband said, and the Bible says the husband always gave her a great point. Saying everything that God is doing, even on the outside of even in your own life, but you have to be willing to say, God, I want more. I want more. I want more. I want more, God. The Bible says that Hannah was pouring herself out. But only God can hear it. Because her mouth went moving. But her posture changed. You don't have to move like everybody else is moving. You don't have to pour. To be poured of God. God is going to blow your mind. You hear me? And God shows me where he's going to push you forward really quickly in an accelerated way. Somebody shout, I'm made for more. I'm made for more. Somebody shout, I'm made for more. I'm made for more. Somebody shout, I'm made for more. I'm made for more. Listen to me, baby. You have the ability to touch a thing. And that whole thing change. The Lord shows me where your anointing, your oil that you carry. People stereotype you real quick that don't know you. God shows me an old building. You know what a plank house is? You know? Because a house is made out of planks. Old, 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 like really old houses. You know what I'm talking about? The Lord shows me that and it's white. And it's run down and beat down. And some of the white has been weathered and beaten so bad that it's like a grayish color. But then the Lord shows me where you drive by. God said, don't you underestimate where I'm taking you. You're going to travel down some roads that's going to look like you're lost and in the wrong place. But God is leading you to the place that he has given you the oil to restore. I mean, even when you go in Walmart... Stores like Walmart. I want to pray for you. Can I pray for you? Yes. Come. Sit 
The choices that God has given depends on you. Two, three. Three. It depends on you. It depends on what you're willing to do. God has chosen you, David. God has chosen you, Hannah. But you have to be willing. Prayer word. You have to be prayer word. Let me tell you something. You carry an anointing from generations of your family. Yes. There are miracles that follow your prayers. I want you to know that the Lord is going to lead you to pray. I see young adults in your family that you're connected to. The Lord is going to lead you in this space. It's going to seem like a space of fog where God is going to allow you to begin praying for them. And in the praying for them, God is going to pull them out of the belly of the whale. The Lord shows me where he says, because of your willingness to stand on the wall, my God, I said, I shall do it in all of them. There is not a one. I don't care what they're doing. I don't care how they're acting. You understand? I want you to know your tears of pain. God is going to change that. You're absolutely going to have tears of joy. What he said he's going to do. Mm -hmm. There's some things you even forgot about. God said, you forgot about. Because mm -hmm. it seemed like as long as it's been, God, surely it ain't going to happen now. God said, oh, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lay hands on you. Jesus, help me and heal. And I want you to understand, God said there's a fresh fire coming in your life. Thank you, Jesus. There's a fresh fire that I'm bringing in your life. There's fresh fire I'm bringing in your life. There's fresh fire that I'm bringing in your life. Bring in your life. There's fresh fire that I'm bringing in your life.
ministry is for your whole house. All your children, and I can say children. <laughs> ministry is in all of them. Will be in all of them. Your daughter is very peculiar. Yes, yes. She will see things that other people won't see. And she will see it in a way that you're like, where did you come from? You're born already. Yeah, already. Very prophetic. She will interpret dreams. And I'm talking about even before she drives a car. You understand? Not only that, but you're going to give birth to a son. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ministry lives in you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there were wedges. I want you to know that there is a place you will go. I don't know if you work. But you won't always go to a secular job. Mm. I can't do that. I can't go there. We'll be here to the night. Let me tell y'all something. I'm where the words won't come out the same, they won't feel the same. You understand? Things are going to change and they're going to be different. Pray for your pastor, because the fights are coming. You understand? Yes. They come. And they ain't coming no little bit away. It's a battle. It's a war in the spirit. Uh -huh. Somebody say, I want more. I want more. They would fight. It's a movement of God that's not only ignited with fire, that means you fill this room with worship. You allow yourself to feel, you allow yourself to be poured out and feel God in here. You allow yourself to be poured out and feel God like never before. Oh! 
word, but you got to come back tonight to get it. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. This evening. You're supposed to say coming back to church. <laughs>
you don't be woke. You're gonna be just from a sound sleep. That is not the leg and say down prayer closet. And if you don't have one, make one even if it's at the dining room table. Mm -hmm. And over the next 30 days of your life, spend at least 30 minutes with God. Don't play with me. Mm -hmm. Do you hear what I said? I don't care how busy you are, every day. Somebody point themselves and say, I want more. I, I want, want more. more. I want more. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Lord. 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 Save me. Save me. Lord. Lord. Come and get me. I believe. 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 You gotta let that church die in you. You gotta let God live in you. Amen. You gotta let church die in you. And you gotta let God live in you. You're made for a while. Give yourselves a clap. Give yourselves a clap. <laughs> 